Hey everyone, Alina from XM8 Mastery here. Today we're going to talk about how to duplicate an estimate. It's a question that's come up recently. Lots of people have been asking me this and there's many reasons to do so. So let's go take a look at how we can duplicate an estimate quickly in Xactimate. There are many reasons to duplicate an estimate. I think one of the big ones are is for mitigation and restoration contractors. You can start an estimate and write the mitigation and then duplicate that estimate, take off all of the line items for mitigation and just write the restore part. So it saves you all the time of entering claim info, all of that stuff, sketching, it'll create a carbon copy, it's amazing. So that's one of the main reasons that I've seen duplication being used. However, recently, some of the roofing contractors have come to me and asked me how to do this. Since they have multiple homes in an area that are damaged, that are pretty much the same floor plan, same roof plan. So if you're in a suburban environment, it gets hit hard by hail, a lot of those houses are cookie cutter, or they'll have two or three variations of the same floor plan, but they're all basically the same in that area of those two or three houses. And you can pretty much duplicate an estimate and make it like a template. So Yes, I advocate the use of macros, but if you can duplicate the whole estimate as a package, that will really save you some time, If you, especially if you're importing sketches and doing other things that uh, for the exterior, it just saves a lot of time to just duplicate the whole estimate and then save it as a template. So kind of two things we're gonna do here today. The first one is going to be the mitigation restore aspect. So I've got an estimate here. It's my little sandbox that I play in. And we've got a lot going on. We've got a crazy looking sketch in here. We've got that, uh, we've got a couple sketches actually. We've got this kind of odd home that we've drawn uh, or sketched here in Xactimate. I would apply all the mitigation line items to this estimate, all of your air handlers, your category two or three charges, whatever you're going to do in this home. We would add that here and then of course save and exit. The easiest way to duplicate that would be to go to your control center dashboard, which is the main part of Xactimate. So that's where I'm at, the control center dashboard. And you're going to select the project on the list and right click. When you right click, you can duplicate. So we've got duplicate here and all that's going to do is make a carbon copy. So I would call this fun restore. So I've duplicated everything. All of the items are going to carry over and the sketch and everything else is going to be a carbon copy like I said. You can also change the profile here if needed. So if you had loaded the previous estimate in the wrong profile, you can also address that here too. But I'm going to leave that at carrier. Uh, the label here, that's for another video. I'll talk about that um, some other time. We can left click OK. And then you'll see on your control center dashboard, we've got that second project that is a perfect copy of the first one. You can see that here at the top of my screen, I've got a different name. So I'm actually in the second project. And again, it's copied everything over. Now all I would have to do is just delete off all the mitigation line items. I can just control A and delete off, get rid of everything on the estimate and then write my restore. So that way I don't have to fill out the claim info. I don't have to go back and do any sketching. It's all there for me. So that's a really cool time saver for the mitigation restoration contractors. Now for the roofing exterior guys and for the mitigation restoration guys too, if you want to make a template estimate that you can copy and duplicate over and over in that instance when you have suburban homes that are the same, that would be something that would look like this. What I would do is I'd go ahead and duplicate, but I'd call it maybe suburban or whatever subdivision you're in. So if you're in um, high rolls, you could be high rolls subdivision, but I'm going to put suburban template and just left click OK. So I don't have to call it the same thing that I'm copying. So now I've got my suburban template and what I would do here is I would delete out all the claim info because I don't want the insured name. I want it to be generic so that when I want to use it out in the field, all I have to do is enter the insured info, the coverage loss info and the parameters. And then the sketch is already completed, right? We're not going to do anything with the sketch. We want to keep that because it's a cookie cutter home. What I would probably do is add my macro for the roof and then the exterior for siding or stucco or whatever you're working with as far as a material. And then delete off what I don't need whenever I open the template, okay? 
Now, I'm in the template that's generic, right? So if I start editing and making this specific right now, I'm going to get into a big a bit of trouble. So you're going to have to remember that. If you're going to create one of these generic templates, you don't want to use the template itself. You want to duplicate off of the template. And now I can make it the Jones house. So I'm just duplicating off of there. And then I would actually enter the information here on the duplicated template version. Does that make sense? I don't want you going around and messing up the, the template either. So that is one thing that you have to watch. Just make sure that you don't use your generic template, that you do need to duplicate off of it and name it specifically. And then you can go ahead and add the macros and do whatever you want. Or if they're already there, just go in and delete off the items you don't need and then your um, estimates written for you already there out in the field. And that can save you a ton of time if you have a bunch of stuff on your grooming tree. Macros aren't as effective if you're doing the same floor plan over and over, same roof plan over and over. This can really save you even more time than the macros do. So try that out, see what you think about duplication, and uh, see if you can create some of those templates and use those out in the field. If you like this video, please press the like button below and be sure to comment if you have any questions or any concerns about duplication. I'd love to hear them. Also subscribe for our weekly tech tips that I update every week here on this channel. For more about XM8 Mastery and what we do, please visit www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you're having a great week in your business and we'll see you next week.